know what I'm saying? You so beautiful, but you know you look better with me. I can open up your eyes, show you some better to see. I can't get you out my head when I watch and repeat. I'm so far gone. I be thinking about the future, I can't stop seeing you. Why you bless me with this feeling that I don't want to lose? So many women, baby, why you. Hey, welcome to the Burning Miles channel. I'm Sean, and this is. Gara. <laughs> I was eating cookies, guys. Sorry. Drugs. Anyway, Sorry. welcome to the Burn Mouth channel where we talk about all the topics, popular news, science news, rappers, actors, relationships, our relationship, anything we want to come up with, we bring it here. First of all, we do got to show the lights. Can you scoot over your titty meats in the way? Did it. Bang. Lights. <laughs> Why did that make me happy? Because I always wanted a very corny YouTube studio in my house. I just wanted that. And I got it now. So I'm loving it. And on top of that, my uh, honey bunny, because that makes you mad for me to show her affection. My honey bunny <laughs> made me cookies. So I am winning and grinning. That's not what we're talking about today. We are talking about the SpaceX launch. Mm, okay. okay three paying customers and an astronaut took a flight uh a day or two ago or was it a week ago a flight to space where they will go dock with the uh international space station and do different things up there uh, experiments look at data and stuff like that mm -hmm. that's not that's one of the things we're going to touch on did you know how much they paid per ticket uh, yeah speaking to the mic how much? Fifty-five thousand million dollars. <laughs> you lying, bro? I knew she would say that. I knew she would say that. Let's back up here. Let's put it about right there. And a million dollars each to go. Of those men paid fifty-five million dollars each. Fifty-five million dollars each. They should have just waited for the Richard Bronson. They're old, dude. Virgin Mobile, dude. He going to space. He got like a little. Richard thing. Bronson BSing. <laughs> he take it too long. <laughs> I got $55 million in my pocket. I'm waiting to burn it. <laughs> $55 million to go to space and do work. What do you mean do work? You know, they're going to do experiments and look at data and all that stuff. Like an astronaut. Are these people that pay the money, um, are they professionals in any way are they doctors something? i don't know what they are they're, they're something good because they got 55 million dollars to blow on a ticket um because i why do i feel like you still have to know or be someone to spend that type of money to go to space no you just gotta have 55 million clear to get over because as i'm looking at this cast right here they all have quite <laughs> many similarities so i'm just saying like it doesn't look like you know what all the similarity they got what? 55 million dollars puffy could have went <laughs> I don't think Puffy could have went. went First of all Puffy ain't going in this space That's one <laughs> Number two What I get for the 55 million like, oh, Nah bro. Up there is God and yeah. <laughs> Right I'm gonna see Jesus when I die I don't need to see him now <laughs> 55 million Dollars <laughs> Why that million Million <laughs> First of all These They're that high right now But you know these tickets are gonna drop Oh, of course. And soon it'll just be like a $10,000 thing you and your buddies do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just to say, I've been to space. Not only is it from him doing this over and over again, he's going to get better at it. Like the shuttles are going to get better. They're going to get more comfortable. And next thing you know, it, what, what I what I always push to it is, you know how, you know how I like sci-fi movies, right? I like it's listening to us. I know the it's, <laughs> it's freaking listening to us. You know how I like sci-fi movies, right? Yes. And you know one of the things I love about sci-fi movies is how they be in that like that little their their, their little personal shuttle. Yes, yes. And they just hop onto the freaking planet park, do what they got to do, and they just jump in and they just fly off and they're just in space. Yeah. He's getting us one step closer to that fantasy for me. What? So basically, on your bucket list, you want to get one of those shuttles. I want a personal, Space like, shuttle. planet hopper shuttle. I tell you, when you when you love someone, you know. Everybody. So you don't want one? I don't. I'm I'm with Diddy on this. I mean, I don't know if Diddy. Right, you don't know Diddy. <laughs> my, bad. Want one. my bad, Diddy. But I'm gonna assume that Diddy is spiritual and Christian, like Christian raised. <laughs> 
I don't think I want to go. I don't, I don't think I want to go. I know it will be beautiful to see. I'm pretty sure it is something uh, godlike, you know, something so special and amazing. And there's probably not the correct arrangement of words to describe it. But I don't know. I think, um, I don't know. I feel like it's like Pandora boxy. Like, I just don't. What? Yeah, I just don't think it's. I don't know. I just don't. And what is it's, Pandora boxy about going to space? I just, it's the same fear that I have with going, you know, deep sea past, you know, barrier reefs and into the deep. Like, I don't know. There's certain things I just feel like. Shouldn't be done. Should Not that, I, it's not that it shouldn't be done. It's just, don't ask me to come. You just, you don't, you you just ain't real. You just don't have it. Like, you're yeah, just being I'm, honest. Like, yeah, you're not I'm brave not, and yeah, I'm not, I am definitely, the fact that we can't penetrate through uh, the sea and explore past certain points. It just boggles my mind to think that, oh, well, let's go into space. Like It's I just, probably easier to deal with space. You got to deal with pressure. There's also like megalodons down there. Because of that movie, I took it for face value. That happens. That's real. I, mean, I don't care what you say. Like if you see a cloud of smoke down there. Oh, the day it go. There it go. That's what a Meg line lit. That's how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like everything they said in Meg, in Meg I believed completely. Yeah, I that it made it real. It made it like it made it sensible. Movies now are making it where it has a sense of okay, this could biologically happen this could act, actually actually she's sensible me this happened like I, I'm, I'm there's hordes of megalodons under that what did they call that layer I forgot it was when you get down there and then it's like the cold it and like the a hot thermal layer so it was like yeah the, it was so it was so the ice temperature and it was like a cloud and this cloud was, was the difference between the, the two temperatures yeah and because and under there is megalodons yeah. And that was where the I'm so happy that they're there. Um, was flourishing, and it was throw everything was bigger. So those uh, what was those things called? The squids. Yeah, everything was huge yeah, down yeah, there, so. and they was looking for unadulterated booty meat. They was yeah. out there. If you seen Megalodon, you know what I'm talking about. What I'm yeah. what I'm trying to say is this: it's the wonder. My old lady has lost the wonder. She's lost it. I have not lost the wonder. But then on the same tip. She'll sing Backstreet Boys like she's 12 years old, bro. Am I sexual? Okay. Sing your part. No, stop. Sing your part. Sing your part. Sing it from the beginning to the end so they can see it. You got the floor. First of all. Sing your part. I can't. I can't do it. Why can't you do it? Because it's sacred to me. Like, that's my time. Like, why would you bring up my... Am I the only one? <laughs> yeah. Definitely need it. Am I sexual? That, first of all, that sexual is so spicy. <laughs> no, it's like, am I sexual? Yeah. Did I... Am I everything you need? You better work your body now. You're going to drop our camera. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just do the cabbage patch? <laughs> I am so embarrassed. I'm so em first of all, you shook our camera messing the production. That's oh, one. Number two, she didn't care about nothing around her when that happened. That's why I don't like I don't listen. 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 But the sexual thing is a, such an issue for me because that is aimed at kids. So let's put this into context, people. There's a game. It's called Beats to the Max. Here we go. And this is game. And Don't ask us how we got on this topic. And, and and it's basically where your favorite songs, you will hit the beat. It's kind of like Guitar Hero. Right. But for your phone. They jock it. So, you know, at first I was playing regular songs like uh, Doja Cat, Say So, um, Post Malone, Congratulations, you know, regular stuff. And then I got so good at it, it started unlocking the back 90s. In the day songs. And so when Backstreet Boys popped up, I played it like 60 Wait, times. Real, real question, real question right here, because the streets is watching. Did you? <laughs> Don't laugh. Okay. This is a real question, because Rich gonna watch this. He watches every one. All right, go ahead. Did you purchase the Backstreet's Boy album? We'll take that as a yes moving forward. <laughs> we're not done. Okay. Did you go to the store with your grandmama, ask for the teen idol book, 
and take out the freaking the the, the poster. So, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! All right, so this will happen. We're breaking up. Like this is. So I don't know if you guys remember, but Fye. For your entertainment. They have no idea what that is. They have no idea. I know. I know. I, this is for... Sam yeah, Goody. This is for my ghetto... Uh, boom. Like, y'all know they what I'm talking about. They don't know that about. reference either. Okay. Stop. Can you stop? Let me vibe real quick. Nobody knows your old ass reference. <laughs> 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 for so old. <laughs> for my cats that know. For, for the people that know that know. For the people that don't, they don't. All right. Now, listen. <laughs> FYE was a thing. We had a huge one downtown Philadelphia, right? And I would hooky school to go there. And before they used to wrap the cases, like they used to wrap the CD cases, they didn't at one point. And I would be able to open it up and look at the pamphlet. But that's me showing my age. First of all, this shows you how how bad it is the kids watching don't know what napster is and you want them to talk about a physical seat a record you sound like our uncles talking about 45s back in the day i mean listen everyone stays in their um in their age bracket they stay in their decade you know you got some people that still rocking the locks another with the hairstyle we're talking about the group (laughs) You know, the you locks people, are dope. I you am know, locks they, You know, some people stay in that group. For me, late nineties, early two thousand. That is ninety five, two thousand five. That is my era. Listen, we got terribly off subject here. Sorry, no. We don't have money for fifty five million dollars, so it wouldn't be something we would stick on anyway. I just wanted you to know that to the going price right now for you to get to space is fifty five million dollars. A million. $55 million. That's a lot of money. And they wanted it in all nickels. <laughs> there was Do no payment that? plan. So basically what Elon Musk did said, okay, I need to recoup. <laughs> I need and to repackage this. He took them up there and said, both three seats right here. <laughs> so How much a ticket? Fifty five million a piece. Talk about so he didn't accommodate them as like a first client. First There's class no class. such thing going to space. There's no such thing. You strapped in like an astronaut. Did they train? Did they like give them the training that I'm they, sure they had to do something? Oh, okay. Cause you're making it seem like they just, you know, fling them in. Listen, space. if you gonna give me $55 million, I'm gonna get you in space. Don't, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't pass like it, smuggling if you don't pass it, you pass it. Even And if you die, you don't sign the release. <laughs> so no one, if, if someone dies going to space, no one thinks it's like the biggest tragedy in the world. Cause like you're going to space, like that, that can happen. Yeah, it's almost heroic. Yeah, it's like, oh, he wanted to go to space and they'll have him looking with the American flag waving and a, and a, and a freaking rocket going in the back. Like, yeah. But, you know, 55 million. So why are you trying to pay your rent, your car note? They dropped 55 million, three of them. That's $165 million that went to SpaceX in a day. Pressure. <laughs> And y'all, and y'all sit up there arguing about a bunch of nonsense. About nothing. Because nah, really, when you get spin a hubcaps, you got to oil the joints. Y'all talking <laughs> about stupid stuff. And they dropping $55 million to get space. <laughs> For no reason. For no, no apparent reason. <laughs> it wasn't like they were trying to see something. No. Was... Just, I want to come back and get to my millionaire friends and be like, yeah, yeah, you got that car. That's not it. But have you been to space? Booyah! In your face, Bill. Like, that, that's all they wanted to do. <laughs> Remember the episode off of Big Bang Theory? <laughs> <laughs> where they showed him what it looks like. I'll keep talking about him going to space. Right. <laughs> they showed Buzz Aldrin just still bringing it up to trick or treaters. Yeah. So that's one of the things we want to talk about, man. Uh, appreciate you for coming here. We got most stuff to talk about. Don't do drugs. And I'm eating cookies. You ain't got 55 million. You ain't going to space. <laughs> Period. Bye.